Saud Arabia. We need justice for our parents. We have talked on behalf of all the children. Please. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today ni kona a very sad story about one lady ambaye inasemekana ametolewa kidneys. Huyu madam, huyu madam ameweza kutolewa kidneys namna gani? Huyu madam inasemekana the boss alimwambia ampeleke kwa hospitali. Na wakati walienda pale kwa hospitali they operated her against her will. So ni kama alienda akapewa some concussions pale, maybe anesthesia. Akakuwa hajiski they operated na wakamtoa kidneys zake. So why should someone do such a thing? Enough is enough. I repeat, enough is enough. Why do you people so heartless? If you don't want Africans to work for you, better ban them from coming to your country than destroying their lives. Do you think they come to you when they don't have families? We do have families. We have our kids, parents, all. But you, you take us like animals. Look at our sister. Look at her. Hmm? Imagine if she's your sister. What would you do? What? Stop killing our sisters and taking their kidneys. And it hurts. Stop it. Enough is enough. We all have family. Ah, uh, a lot of people in Saudi Arabia despite the fact that kuna watu wako pale na wanaendelea vizuri i've seen so many people crying asking the government uh, to help them out yani to solve these kind of issues because if at all mtu wetu anaenda kwa hospitali na anatolewa kidneys just because you are a black or you are an african kumaanisha the arabs have a value the life of african people so they can do anything wao wa survive but wanataka wa kill the africans so in issue nadhania our leaders from africa sababu nimeona video sana not only in africa actually cause pia tumeona video za watu wanauliwa from philippines pale saudi arabia so it's upon the government waweze ku set out the rules zenye zitaweza ku guard our domestic workers in Saudi Arabia or in Middle East or in Gulf countries My message goes to the king of Saudi Arabia please come out on the issues going around in your country of Ugandans who are being killed in Saudi Arabia tortured and the organs are being taken out of their bodies please come out as a father just imagine if these girls were your sisters if these girls were your daughters if these girls were your mother these people have family to take care of in Uganda but they are being tortured they are being accused of stealing please come out we need justice please come out with a human being like you being black does not mean that we are not human beings we are requesting you to come and jump on the, on this issue we need your help our king of Saudi Arabia Mr Suleiman come out as a father as a brother please so it's very sad yani yani Mtu anakuambia tu nipeleke hospitali kumbe wewe ndio victim unaenda unatolewa kidneys zako the next minute unajisikia umeshafanya operation na huku mgonjwa this is really sad and that's why somebody alianza kufanya this uh, small clip here eh, ya watoto wakisema please Saudi Arabians stop killing our parents because our our madam our gentlemen when you wanna pale Saudi Arabia their parents wamekuja pale kutafuta hajakuja pale ndio waweze kukuwa mistreated wametoka hapa hapa Kenya wengine wametoka Uganda wengine wametoka the other countries wenye wametoka wameenda pale job hawajakuja pale ndio wa ku provide kidneys so i think he video pia ni venye siifanyi na kizungu but ningependa sana iweze kufikia watu wengi 
Uh, ukiangalia hapa hivi uh, kuna picha hapa nyuma yangu ya msichana anaitwa Judith Kemtomokaya anatoka kisi uh, anafanya kazi Lebanon alikuwa na shida na bosi wake alikuwa anateswa akaenda akarudishwa kwa ofisi na huyo huyo bosi wake ni rafiki ya agent wa Lebanon sasa akarudishwa the same house hiyo siku alirudishwa the same house wale huyo uh, bosi wake walimwekea uh, dangerous chemical kwa maji So vile alienda kuingiza mikono mikono yake ikachomeka na hayo maji yakamwagikia pia kwa mguu unaona hiyo mguu vile iko sasa hizi mikono nayo imeoza vile unaona hapo kama unaweza ona hiyo picha ya mkono miguu hawezi songesha sasa hizi zingine amefunga hapo juu hiyo miguu yake imeoza inatoa usaha sasa Judith analilia agency yake inaitwa Golden Horizon Agent iko pale Nairobi uh, ni ya Delio Beg na Jared Momanyi namba ya Jared ndio hiyo na kuna namba walikuwa wamepeana ifanyi kazi agents saa zingine wakupea hizo namba wazitumiwa wanazitupa lakini namba ya Jared inaingia familia imejaribu kulilia huyo Jared asaidie huyo msichana anasema yeye hawezi kusikiza mambo ya reported speech so atujui kama anataka kwenda Lebanon naenda kumuona lakini huyo msichana analilia watu wake watu wetu kila mtu najua uh, tuko na uwezo wa kusaidia huyu msichana. Just keep sharing hii information hiyo msichana aweza kurudishwa nyumbani, atibiwe. Hiyo mikono yake ni uchungu aifanye kazi, miguu itembei na hao watu wamesema hawezi kumtoa kwa hiyo nyumba. Wanasema atakufia kwa hiyo nyumba. So tunataka kujua uh, nani yako na power ya kufanya uh, maid akufie kwa nyumba yake na kwa nini waliweza kumuangaisha kwa sababu mara ya kwanza wakati alitoka kwa hiyo nyumba alikuwa sawa. Hakuwa na shida yote ni vile walikuwa na mtesa tu. Kurudi ndio walimwekea hiyo kemiko kwa maji. Hasa huyo msichana bado anaendelea kuangaika pale Lebanon, anaomba msaada. So in case you come across this video, make sure you share it out mpaka uh, apate destiny helper tuone pia amerudi nyumbani akiwa mzima, akuje kupata matibabu. Tafadhali if you are watching this video, share, share kabla hata hujamaliza kuwatch. Tuone kama Judith kimtomokaya amepata msaada, amerudi nyumbani. In case you want to know more details about her you can reach me out tuone vile tunaweza kumuongelesha if you want to talk to her one on one unaweza niambia nikupe namba yake so far mnaweza pigia hiyo agency ya Kenya inaitwa Golden Horizon Agent Limited hiyo ni namba ya Jared achukuangi simu sasa saa hizi mimi nilimpigia sana na kuchukua lakini familia yake alikuwa anawalenga saa hizi ni kumplutik kabisa so ladies Poleni sana kwa yenye mnapitia wenye wanapitia that is unajua kuna wengine obvious wanaka wakopoa lakini always mazi see how we will be able to take care kwa sababu unaona kama huyu alidanganywa nipeleka hospitali the next minute what happened hana kidneys so it's very sad